really cool yes. down, get to try on some different uh, boots and, and jackets now, kind of fun with that. But well, we are uh, fully into cozy season. We now. are. It's just so chilly out there. So temperatures this week will stay cold here, uh, including today when our highs are really only in the upper 40s today. Uh, plus some breezy winds may make it feel like we're down in the low 40s. So another chilly afternoon for us. Thankfully, though, we are drying out here and getting a break from the heavy rain that we've seen so far in November. Uh, always fun to sit in a box if you're a cat. Cats love to do this. So thank you for sharing this photo. I always find it so funny when my cat that sits in any box that he can find. This is Zargo out of Vancouver. You can always send in your photos to coin.com slash pet walk forecast. If you're heading outside for a walk, we will see a dry day today uh, with temperatures staying chilly in the 40s. Not much rain in the picture either. We are seeing some lighter scattered showers cruising out towards the north and tapering off here. We still have our large system uh, and upper level trough of low pressure that's been sitting right over the Pacific Northwest. We still have our spinning system with a lot of rainfall and even some snowfall in areas of Northern California and also southern Oregon. So more inclement weather down towards the south, but we are seeing things quiet down here in northern Oregon uh, as the system starts to work out the door heading into today. Uh, so temperatures right now as we start in the upper 30s to low 40s here out towards the coast. Still a few lingering showers out uh, near the seaside Astoria area. Portland, though, is drying out. Same for down the valley where we're in the upper 30s to low 40s this morning. Uh, wind speeds today will also start to ramping up through the afternoon, which may make it feel like we are colder than temperatures are showing outside. That's the wind chill factor. So take a look at these winds here ramping up through the afternoon again 2 3 o'clock. Expect east winds uh, to turn breezy here through the gorge and some spots out in uh, maybe Cascade Locks and Troutdale could see wind gusts closer to 35 miles per hour. Real breeze out in areas of southwestern Washington too. But notice here uh, those breezy east winds uh, will bring down those temperatures, make it feel like we're in the low 40s. So bundle up today would be a great day to grab the hat. These winds do die down down heading into Wednesday morning. So just this afternoon under some breezy conditions. Now weather pattern keeping that cold here in the picture, but uh, we will see dry conditions persisting for at least the next five days here, maybe even up to 10 days. Some models showing just this dry trend setting up, which is pretty rare. Typically when we get some colder conditions during our stormy season, November is a very wet month. Uh, we tend to see a lot more rain paired with it, but we are stuck under a cold and dry pattern. High pressure setting up and may stick around for a good week or two. So a drier forecast for us, but temperatures will stay cold here for the next handful of days with below average temperatures, likely our daytime highs sitting in the 40s with overnight lows close to freezing. So quick look here at our rain chances again. Most models showing pretty dry conditions here uh, through the weekend. We remain dry. I do want to keep an eye on maybe Saturday through Sunday. We we could see a few light scattered showers somewhere in the valley here, so there could still be a few showers around, but pretty dry for us as we head our way into mid November here. Not much rain in the forecast today for the coastline. Expect the low 50s will keep morning showers scattered about there, but then drying out and turning sunny today. Also breezy out towards the coastline, so bundle up out there. Upper 40s today in Portland with gusty winds. We'll also get sun breaks heading into our afternoon. Quick peek up towards the mountains too. We're seeing uh, improvement there on the roadways. A lot of that snow melting off and have been treated. So uh, better conditions for driving over government camp. You'll be heading out to the east sides or coming back into Portland here through Mount Hood. Here's your seven day forecast temperatures in the upper 40s. The rest of the week pretty dry too through Veterans Day. Uh, the weekend right now going with dry conditions, but we'll watch out for maybe a few showers popping back into the forecast here, but we're keeping it cool tomorrow morning. Temperatures likely below freezing in Portland. So bundle up. That's your weather. We'll be back with more news and weather here after the break.